Well, a woman accused of sending a letter containing the powerful toxin ricin to the White House is now in custody. According to the Associated Press, U.S. Customs and Border Protection arrested the unnamed woman at the New York-Canada border. She is expected to face federal charges. Mark Meredith is live for us in Washington. Mark, how did officials find this letter exactly? Morning, Trace. Well, all the mail that's sent to the White House is screened before it reaches its destination, and it appears that's exactly how officials found this suspicious letter to begin with. The FBI announcing late Sunday that federal officers arrested a woman they believe sent this suspicious letter containing ricin. A Customs and Border Patrol official tells me the arrest was made at the Peace Bridge up in Buffalo, New York. That's right on the U.S.-Canada border. And we're told that the suspect, she will be making her first court appearance later today. It's unclear if this is going to be a virtual or in-person hearing because of COVID. As you mentioned, the Associated Press reports that the mail was addressed to President Trump. We're waiting to see exactly what charges this woman is going to face. But officials tell Fox News they do expect to release a lot more information later today as to what time it really is unclear. Now, this is not the first time that someone has sent a letter containing ricin to a U.S. official. Ricin is a poison found naturally in castor beans, and it comes in many different forms like powder, mist, and pellets. The effects can vary, and it all depends on whether the person that's exposed inhales it or ingests it. As I mentioned, we do expect to learn a lot more from the Justice Department once those charges are brought a little bit later on yeah. this afternoon. Trace? Yep. Mark Meredith, live for us in D.C. Mark, thank you.